Hello, everyone in the world, especially uh, you right there behind the computer or the phone. You can't, you you can't assume people don't use phones nowadays. You guys have phones, don't you? Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a timely reference. When was that? Was that 2018? The um the BlizzCon Diablo kerfuffle, kerfuffle, where they just was like, yeah, you guys have phones, don't you? Like missing the point that it's not that people don't have phones. It's that don't want Diablo on a phone, or rather they want Diablo on not phones. Um, and I guess the, you know, know thine market, like, you know, can't, uh, uh, they do this at E3 as well. It's like the kind of people who go to E3, the kind of people who go to BlizzCon, are not the kind of people who persistently game on phones, and it's really hard to bring people over too much. And I don't know why, <laughs> why so many companies think they can get away with that it's crazy absolutely crazy you know? so today on uh the you know uh show of the world uh i'm gonna be playing golden sun um just a bit uh i'll probably keep continuing we'll see how we go oh snap forgot to turn off retroarch oh gosh okay <laughs> Every single time, I always forget to turn off the on-screen notifications. Turn them off, you'll never see them. Don't worry, they don't exist. That is because this is a game. So, yeah, those of you who know my YouTube channel know that I have had a... Uh, and hopefully this doesn't start playing loud. Okay, I, I had a, a Let's Play Golden Sun back in November... 2008. I don't know how long I kept it up for. Um, I just kind of glanced back at the first video. Um, that's the date. 536 views. And the first thing I notice is in the corner, it says wrote save state one. And I realized I save stated every so often while playing this. It was dreadful. Like I it's weird, I don't think I ever, like, resumed a save state too bad, but I forgot the audio, nice, as well, even better. That was, the, that was the second thing I noticed, there was no audio on, um, on, uh, my original recording. I don't think I captured any game audio on that one, so, um, that, for reference, people, 12 years ago, this was, um, whoa, this is, uh, basically me trying to pull a redemption arc on, uh, Whatever I did. I do remember saying no to this, and they were like, well, well, sorry, you can't, you can't get everything, and then why you ask? Why do you ask? The boulder could fall at any second. Well, you know what they say about boulders. They fall. You gotta watch for the rolling rocks, you know. How many, how many presses have I done so far? Like four? Will they be able to stop the capital B boulder? but older right there so i got a couple of topics for today um it's been two weeks since i streamed last and i, I did mildly plan to try and stream uh more often but i did feel that i was a bit uh nah, i can't find my way no 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 fine okay um <laughs> Yeah, I did find that I was a little bit pressed, at, pressed for time over, um, maybe not necessarily the weekend, but I just wasn't in, like, the most, um, you know, the most stream-worthy mood. Um, that sounds, like, hugely negative. Uh, as in, like, oh, I don't want to stream. I think it was more, um, I don't know, I had things upsetting me, so I was like, you know what, the better thing would be is to sort that out. And then come to the stream with a positive attitude. And I keep pressing A to bring that up. Start as that. Um, so yeah, what do I what do I remember about this game? I do remember that it was really smooth, like to play. Like for a Game Boy Advance game, it's it didn't seem to you know pull like a. I guess Pokemon Ruby was really fast, wasn't it? Isaac, Isaac can't even do that. Well, that's okay. That's good, isn't it? 
Hey, look, it's Ryan. You can't do it. Okay, see ya. Oh, I, I guess that's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> uh, other than that, I don't remember much about this game. I remember you had to pick up a lot of crystals. Like, the point of the game was to get a lot of things. You know, legendary crystals of the world. Um, since I have played that, I have actually played several um, other RPGs. Uh, I guess the most notably I've played uh, the first three Final Fantasies. So that collecting the crystals thing is a little bit rude on me. Um, but I think Final Fantasy VIII was out by the time this game came out. This was 2001, so... Run! <laughs> See ya. Oh, nearly got hit. We can't get around the rock. We're going to have to go left into road. Um, so I like this water effect because it's entirely irrespective of the ground. Um, like you're getting splashes like on the cliff like edge, but... You know, it's 2001. This is this is very early GBA. Um, you think I'll die? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not gonna go for any like weird any percent category or well, I guess it is any percent. Whoa! So I know that the music's a bit of a classic. Uh, I know I used to emulate this, scum the battles a ton. Uh, or they'd lag out. I don't know. Um, yeah, now the music kicks in. No, it's serious. Those enemies. Who forgot to change the name of the stream? Me. No one's gonna find this game because they think I'm playing the wrong game. <sighs> Every time. Uh... Every single time. I can't believe I've actually done this. I've done this twice. It's the worst thing in the world. Well, maybe someone will find the game at some point. Or they just uh, searched the game itself. Who knows? Um. So yeah, so I don't remember too much about this game, but. I would like to actually finish it. The original plan that I had had way back when was actually playing um, the first two back to back. Why exactly? I'm not 100% sure. I think it's because I did successfully play Earthbound, um, which I'll get to that, don't worry. But I feel like this is probably the, uh, the big culprit. My brother, Il Fratello. Well, Il is more the... Mi, mi, mio fratello. There you go. That's your Italian. Um, and he's a goner. This is, this is. Oh boy. Oh, he's back. We gotta use our psi energy. I'd use mine up. I'm drained from helping people. If only we could get help. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> um, I keep misreading that as Germa and not Gemma, but unless it is Germa. So, I love that, like, just that kind of, uh, what's the, what's the term? They're either giving a lot of agency or just like flat out like letting the player like ignore the fact that there's a tutorial. Uh, let's see how I go. Well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Um, 
But yeah, no, I've got a couple of topics. Um, I don't know where this person must have gone. North? Who knows? Oh, I guess we can just go south then. Nothing stops me from going there. Uh, but yeah, no, it's um, it's been a bit of a hectic couple of weeks. Um, I feel like the uh, the big one for me was yeah, just like you know, you you get to I don't know, it was a bit of a weird one because I got to have an opportunity where I um got to go into work uh, just to uh, get something physically done. Um, so I. Do a lot of my work remote. In fact, I've basically done all my work remote since in March. And uh, yeah, no, it was just kind of weird coming into the office, and um, it's just empty, like mostly empty. Like no one was there because most of the employees work at, at, at home, and it's like, yeah, okay, like I guess I can come in here, but it feels kind of weird because like you know, work is the community of your colleagues, and definitely, you know, like, the whole everyone's working and kind of stuff, like, there's, there's that vibe, but, you know, when you're in there and there's no one in there, you're like, man, it's, you know, it's a, it's an aircon room that I feel like there should be someone else in here, I don't know, so, it felt very odd, um, and yeah, it just kind of got me thinking about, like, you know, like, what, not necessarily like a, you know, when is this whole, uh, situation going, this is going to be a very topical one if anyone's looking back. Um, uh, you know exactly what's happened for 2020. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it just kind of dawned on me that it's just like, yeah, it's, it's so, you know, very different. And I guess the idea that, like, I don't know, like, you gotta, I'm at a loss for words describing this, but yeah, I I would really like to to approach normalcy, and I feel like the first step to normalcy is uh, you know acknowledging the risks. Let's just the elders. Thank you, two big fellas. There they go. Um, acknowledging the risks and then just you know making you know. I guess giving agency to those who are willing to take the risks. Um, now I say that as someone who can work entirely from from home, and I feel like that's probably going to be the thing for the rest of uh, at least for for the foreseeable future. There's no like desire to even go back, even if everything was all fine. And that's, uh, that's something that kind of got to me, just because it's like, you know, man, it is very different. I have missed the human contact. I have really missed, you know, like, being able to, like, see people. Um, and that's, uh, you can't sleep. Neither of these people have anything. I guess you've got, like, healing herbs. Herbs. That is, that is such, like, a bleep bloop, like, bloop. But, yeah, that's good, so, uh, it's a bit of a downer point, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit on it for too long. Um, but, but yeah, no, nah, it, it, it definitely was something for me to just kind of, like, acknowledge, for me to just, like, kind of understand, um, how I'm going, and then, uh, yeah, like, I, I started being kind of, um, like, self-conscious about what I... Not necessarily what I feared, but kind of, like, what I... You know... What gets me down, what, like, reminds me of the weaker aspects of myself. And... It's weird, because sometimes I'd get, like, these waves of, like, feeling that. Um, I usually don't let it kind of, like, take over me. Um, and, and especially when I'm doing something else, or when I'm, like, talking to someone, or talking to a microphone, uh, in this case, like, you know, usually I, I forget about it, it's not, it's not too much an issue. Um, 
But yeah, just because I'm not talking to people as often and I'm, I wasn't in front of a microphone. Uh, like, I started becoming more aware of, like, why I felt kind of, kind of sad. And that's just because of events in the past. Not things that I've done, but things that I've witnessed. And, um... And yeah, like, I just, you know, started going, like, you know... Granted, like, it's things... It's, it's things that I respond to of those things that I've witnessed. Um... And, uh... I love how I'm saying, like, this really, like, serious subject material. It's probably people are gonna go, like, what, what on earth? Like, I, I want to watch fun stream whatever, and this guy's, like, telling me his life story. Um, but I think ultimately, like, you know, I feel a fair bit better. You know, getting it out and realizing what I'm, like, why I feel these ways and what causes me to feel these ways. I feel like I just said this because I know that like all the parents get freaking killed off at this point um because then it cuts to like seven years in the future doesn't it you think they could have maybe reacted like the sound came a fair bit earlier Man, this is a bit of a tragic backstory. So the kid, like, runs off. Doesn't he get, like... ...caught or something, or does it just take forever? Who knows. We gotta stand together. Ah, yes. Traditional gender norms. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah! You got, you got evil music, you got red backgrounds, that's how you know. That's how you know, so... So anyway, so negative, negative topic aside, um... It's just gonna, as I know, I was like, oh. Oh, is this a they kill you battle? Yep. You can flee. But there's no escape! Ooh. I love the way the battles work in this, where it's got like the sweeping camera. Um, I'm trying to think of other games that did that in the 2D era, but I can't really think of any. Maybe a Fire Emblem, perhaps. Um, so they don't get help, and I assume no parents, which means tragic backstory for our characters. And I'm pretty sure the achievements shouldn't show up because they're off, but I guess uh, they all really shouldn't be showing, but if they do show, I apologize. Yep. Thanks, Rush Rock. Appreciate it. Oh, only three years of tragic backstory. Okay. Um, so yeah, but other than that, it is Pinch and Punch December, which means it is not quite Christmas time. It is, uh, Christmas lead up, month of Christmas lead up time. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like the year has, like, gone quickly for me. I entered a bit of a routine and I'm just like, you know, now it's like, wow, it's 20, it's December already. Oh, has he got the force? He does have the force. Sure to put your... Do put your heart into it, Garrett. I remember I used to, like, read these out, but I don't know if I did voices on this game. Um, I remember doing voices on Final Fantasy VII, and I'm pretty sure people, uh, liked... Or hated, probably hated, actually, my, my Cloud Batman voice. He's here, he deserves not to hear, he wins. That's a terrible voice, but 
point is, you, you do the same accent for a character and eventually you associate- Oh! Oh! <laughs> I do like the sprite work, even though it looks kind of blocky if you view it on an emulator. Like, just imagine it's on a, um... How big's the GBA screen? Three inches? It's tiny. Teeny tiny. Where are you going? Yeah, don't remind anyone of the dead parents. It's usually not a turn-on. Usually. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rule it out, but I'm gonna never rule it in. Gemma. Gemma. So, uh, apparently the roofs couldn't be fixed in in three years, or just hailed before. But this guy is pretty cool. Why'd you turn him into an assist trophy or something? I feel like the, the the only real reason why people like know Golden Sun in particular is because of Smash, because I'm not too sure how well they sold. They probably were alright. They probably were like decent entries on the GBA, but you know, a GBA only game, um, especially one that had three entries by the end. Um, which, by the way, I did play the DS one entirely, all the way through. I remember, like, getting it when it came out, and I was like, yeah, like, I'm actually gonna play this game. And then, it finished? Uh, man, you know, when I was saying, like, I kept remembering of, like, a, you know, a, a tragic thing I witnessed, and then it's like, hmm, here's a game, <laughs> which isn't gonna let me up, is it? You've been working on your Psy energy. Do you think you would have had stronger abilities or... I... That's what I thought. Oh, that, I'm actually gonna go with it. Do you... I always find it's weird how people write about, like, lost, uh, or, or, or like, I don't know, people writing about lost, like, friends and, and... Man. Uh... I don't know. I always find it interesting, because, like... I'd imagine a lot of people who write these, like, haven't witnessed it themselves, but also, like, obviously it's a personal thing, and therefore... You know, you have to just put the character into it. Um... I'm curious, like, what people think of when they... When they write about, you know, like, a tragic situation. I remember, like... Uh, for like my high school English, you'd have to like write a, um, you know, a creative every so often, um, especially for exams and stuff. And you're sitting there, and you're like, okay, I've got about like 40 minutes to write this, this short thing. All I get is this like, brief, you know, piece of stimulus. And I found that often the happy story, like, no, no teacher ever liked, and the tragic story, the teachers would just gloss it over. But I'd rather the gloss it over, um, because usually that ended up in a better mark in the end. Ah! Uh... There she goes. Dead. Ha 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 ha! More manual labor! Dude, she just fell off a roof. How do people do that? Uh. So basically, you gotta get back to the temple, or you gotta go to the temple, because you wanna, you know, train your psi powers, and that's what you do. And everyone is stuck on the roof. So, yeah. Dora! Here's another one as well. Like, I love these, like, older JRPGs where they, um, they time the text. 
so you get a bit of, uh, you know, like a bit of emphasis at times on things like that. There's just little things. Uh, I, f I feel like there's a lot of games nowadays, like, I'm not going to say necessarily Western games over Japanese games, but there's a lot of games that I, I play where it's like, uh, text is just like cheap. They don't think much about it. And it's like, man, you know, like, text is great. Come on, Garrett. You crushed the flowers! Uh, so you still can't do the ability, can you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what you do. I thought you hit a button on it. And... There you go. Uncrush the flowers. Okay, the flowers are still dead. Turns out you can't undead things, but just... Hello, um... Okay, this is the church. Only for good, never for evil. You'll never have evil people ever use the powers because you said you'll never use them for evil. Sure. The draw. Dude, what are the odds you get the villains, like, twice? We can use him. I love the, um, the, the justified text as well. Like, it has to fill the box. A go. See you guys. Okay. How nice of them. Very kind fellas. Hi there. Nah. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, okay, this kid doesn't really... He doesn't help, he's just like, yep. Growls, oh, do you hear them? Nah. Okay. Uh, I appreciate the, the spam chat. It's always great. I think I may have mentioned this, like, uh, in the last broadcast when I was like, yeah, I'm almost close to affiliate, um, status on Twitch. And then it's just like, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really stream much to probably benefit from it. And I guess it's also like, here am I, I'm just broadcasting this now, and then it's just gonna go on YouTube anyway, and I'm just, you know, if the broadcast is the broadcast, and the broadcast is the broadcast. So, uh, you know, I'm not really too big on the, uh, buying viewers or any of that stuff, because, like, you know, I can inflate my viewer count. Doesn't really mean much. It's ultimately, you know, having some good feedback. I will say, I'm getting surprisingly more comments on YouTube than I expected, so... Uh, although, uh, someone did leave an interesting comment on the, uh, the stream alert for this one, where, um... Uh... Where they said, like, I swear someone hacked into my account and subscribed to you. And I was like, I, I, I didn't know how to really respond to that, like, as a bit of a meme, I, I put a like on it, I was just like, well, I mean, if you... If you've subscribed, uh, and you, uh, care enough to comment, perhaps you may care enough to watch, in which case, hello. Hopefully you're enjoying the, uh, the, the mellow gameplay. You mean we gotta go into Soul Sanctum ourselves? What? It's never possible.
There you go. Ah, no secret. <laughs> well, I, I I love like when you get um, and I have it in real life as well, where it's like you get an old person that just like, you know, I put my responsibility in people younger, and then like let's go do something slightly against the rules or uh, undocumented in the rules. Oh, he's got the bag. He's got the alchemical bag right there. There you guys. I still don't know if there's any, like, there is, there's jars. Like that, yeah. Also, you're like, oh look, jars. I think here's something that I got re really uh, confused about. I'd lose track of, um, uh, maybe not necessarily direction, but like here where it's like, you got these cliffs. I'm not 100% sure, like, what you do to get around cliffs the easiest. Yeah, no, I, I I feel like, you know, we'll just take a chill, we'll just play the game, chat a bit. If anyone, uh, non-bot comes into the chat, sure thing. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta sneak in. Keeps walking around. And you just you just go up. You don't care. So I think I can save every so often as well. That is nice. Just a nice whenever you want save. And here we are inside the dungeon, inside the temple, temple of the temple. Ah uh, yes. So anyway, perhaps I should pay. A mild bit more attention to the game. I do remember these jumping pathways, uh, which show up in a lot of places. I've now remembered. I do remember doing a lot of jumping. There's bound to be a fair bit of, you know, like, outside combat um, puzzles as well, but I'm expecting some enemies to just, like, randomly show up from time to time, such as maybe right now. There's some very, like, GBA music, though, I tell ya. <sighs> you, you, you missed! So you get to name the main character, you don't get to name uh, Garrett and Jenna right now. It's Jenna, not Gemma. Two N's. Ah, oh, that's what's throwing me off. I can't read, I tell ya. What's up, I'm Jenna, I'm 13, never learned, never learned how to read. Oh boy, which way is, like, the way, and which way is not the way? That was not the way, I guess. Mash that button. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is he defending? Why is he... Oh, because it's... Split targeting. You can't target the same guy. Got it. Sorry, as in, like, if you defeat an enemy and, have root and other people targeted it, I think it's not letting you attack it. I do know that some older RPGs used to do that. Um, I guess this came out in 2001, so therefore it counts as an older RPG. Oh! Hey! The small jewel. Um, I guess I can go to the item, and can I equip the small jewel? I can give. Any details? It's important. Well, uh, that's fine. I'll take importance. What is all the mouse things? I want one. Yeah. What else happened in the world? So I think I may have mentioned I've really enjoyed watching, um, Formula One races. I don't know, there's just something kind of, like, nice and, and speedy about it all. Um, not, well, speedy, uh, but as in, like, it, 
it seemed to avert like you know my typical sport um, notions where uh, you know it would take forever, nothing exciting happens. I'll tell you this last race, the um, uh, the Bahrain GP. Oh boy, um, I won't mention specifics, but I'll definitely say like yeah, like you know that kept you reasonably on your seat. You had a good number of overtakes in, in, the, in the race, and even if the uh, the ending was a little anticlimactic, yeah, like it, it was pretty all right. Um, and yeah, you just you know you follow some news, you go like, oh, who's who's coming up? Reasonably exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess in terms of other games that I've played, uh, I've tried to get back into playing. F1 2016, that's the one that I'm up to on that one. Um, it was a hidden passage, but it's always looked very odd. Hmm. Perhaps there is something to honor the sun. feel bad for saying yeah nah to everything. Uh, so I assume the uh, the gimmick is... These things are not positioned correctly, but I think... I think you can just actually push it. You don't have to use the, um, you know, the power to push something. You're a strong boy, you got this. Uh, here's a question, which way is the right way? I guess nothing hurts you just like fighting things. Oh, look at that goop. The goop. I love these backgrounds as well because it is all just like one picture. I would love to like know like the, the computers and stuff. Like it, it I don't want to say like silicon graphics, but it's got like that that vibe where they're all, you know, like 3D models scanned in uh, into a system. I wonder at what point do you, like, do you unleash the, uh... Oh, I guess you can cure as well, can't you? 70 HP. How much for the, um... For the... The herb. The herb is 50, so, yeah, I guess I did use it pretty preemptively. Also, there you go. Put the move on R. There you go. Uh, probably want the other character's move, because... All moves are equal. Oh, you got a lot of fellas. You can probably help a bit. There we go. Let's do a bit of that damage. There you go, that's looking good. Uh, we'll do it again. Ouchies. Oh, the level up is always worthwhile. Uh, oh, and, and I think that doesn't bump your, your stats up too much. Well, that's okay. Took the time getting to level one. Now it's just uphill from here. I guess that's always fun about like JRPGs and stuff. It's it's like what um you know like how aggressive are they doing the leveling? How aggressive do the stats play a part into the game? Because um, you'll you'll play something like Pokemon and uh, the stats play less and less a part as you um, as you level. Well, sorry, as you get further in the game. So you know like if you level five. Fighting something level 10 is like, oh, that's a bit of a step. I think they, they balance that one out by uh, having the evolutions. Um, so generally a Pokemon that's level uh, like 15, uh, that evolves sometime in between, that's better than something that doesn't evolve. Um, but then, of course, like the ones that don't evolve, sometimes they 
which is pretty good anyway. Uh, case in point, your, your Sizzle, Sizzle, Cypher, your Heracross, your Pinsa, um, a lot of legendaries. Uh, let's give him the heal. Uh, what's another one I'm playing? Um, I play like Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is probably in the same boat. The stats kind of accelerate, so, um, so you want to be, yeah, definitely doing your, um, oh, at least, you know, fighting your, your enemies like this. I remember I used to run a ton. Ooh, this is, this is getting close. That is cutting it very fine. Uh, you can, you can quake, but you should also heal fellow. What? Oh, you also get flame, okay. At the very least, I do appreciate every single character having some magic ability. That's always nice. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty chill game. I guess JRPGs, you know, you take your time. Um, especially one on a handheld. Uh, uh, am I going in circles, or am I just, like, actually lost? I have... I guess that's the problem. You got your battles, and you lose track of where you're, you're sitting in space. That's okay. Alright, here we go. Um... <laughs> There's a room full of statues. Uh... Well, I said Isaac, but... Oh, it's a white sock glove thing. Um, definitely a little wide at the top. Um, yeah, I don't want to describe it. <laughs> I'm not that kind of <laughs> that kind of dreamer. I, I'd like to keep it at least reasonably friendly to the family. Uh, so does the magic recover over time? I'm not too sure if it did or was it just because I entered a cutscene. I've, I've, and 100%, I've forgotten the rules of the game. Um, some of it is just, you figure it out, I didn't understand that, but maybe I should have checked a manual or read something. To, I think it's Advent of Code time, December, so uh, the annual challenge, um, fun challenge, but there's definitely a, uh, a chase for the, the, the number one spot. Um, like, sometimes I think I get kind of close, but usually by the end like, there's some tricky challenges, but uh, for, for those who aren't in the loop, uh, it's, I don't know who runs it, uh, it's a set of daily programming challenges, uh, often almost always, two biters. Um, the challenges are very, like, start-end, so they give you a premise. Um, yeah, they give you a premise, and then you've effectively got to implement a bit of code that implements the rules in the premise. Uh, so it's not specifically, like, there's no specific language, and if you really want to, you can work it out by hand. Um, generally, they get kind of kind of tricky, like there was one which was like, uh, from last year I remember, which was, uh, like, imagine you had a deck of, uh, like 10,073, like, numbered cards, um, and, like, you can do these rules on it, uh, so it's like, given these rules, what's the, uh, you know, what's the first card in, in the deck afterwards, for shuffling it, uh, and then, you're done with that, and then the next part just goes, Say you did that a trillion times. It's like, 
Oh. Uh, does this one move or do you just say hi to it or that is the direction I was facing? So there was a thing missing an eye earlier, um, and I seem to have walked away from it, so... Hmm. Level design, am I right? Uh, so anyway, those challenges will be alright. I haven't looked at today's one. Um, I guess I'll be publicly doing them on GitHub, so anyone who uh, has the, the moniker of following me on GitHub and caring about my code, maybe. I feel like my Twitch YouTube uh, audience is probably not uh, too big into that, but um, maybe if you want to, you can learn a thing or two um, from what I do. Uh, so yeah, so this is like this is missing another eye, and I do not have I do have another eye. I missed that. Wow. Whoa! I assume it's in the next room over. Whoa! Yeah, no, I'm definitely feeling a bit more into it, like, 45 minutes into, into streaming stuff. Even if, even if, it's a silent chat night tonight, you know, you go with the flow. And I'm, I'm definitely starting to, like, you know, kind of get the, the rhythmic feel of the game again. Ooh, I hate the, the crits, though. Like from enemies. Okay, are the purple things the eyes? Do these... They have like a little purple eyes and they just dart at you. I'd be terrified if there was like a slime thing. Like imagine like a, a snail. Like... Without the antenna. Didn't need the, the, um, the shell. He just stood up and he would charge at you. That's what that would look like. That'd be terrifying. Oof, ouchies. That is quite an ouch. Although, considering they drop experience and gold. This seems like a door of some variety. Either that or it moved back earlier. That's strange that it didn't have anything there. But. So, yeah, no, I remember I, I played this game and I used to run away from a lot of battles. And then I feel like I wonder why I was under level. But I played this for... A fair bit. This was back in the 10 minute YouTube days, so I guess it um it wouldn't have exactly been the uh, the longest play, but I, f I have the feeling I took like 30 or so parts. 30 10 minute parts would be like 5-6 hours. Um, that feels like a fair bit of time for not finishing the game, right? Is the mark of the center of the sanctum. Well, now you're in a bit of a Kafka here. There's a lot of turning your backs on things in this beginning part of the game. Like, this has been less than an hour. Who knows? Yeah, sure. Thank you, see ya. Oh, this guy, this guy is just relishing the moment. Higgins, how's this going? They must be connected. Yeah. What could it be? Nah. Uh, 
me glancing through some text has caused him to just go like right over there. I'm just gonna completely abandon him and go up the stairs. Oh, we've got an upstairs. Oh, okay. So, puzzle time, or I could just push them. Whoa! Just unpushed it. Done. Why would anyone put a trap here? It's just, you get this Indiana Jones thing where like people just go like, ah yes, you know what would be great? Hiding something deep in here and then just like killing a lot of people. Genius. Do you think if I built like a bunch of like, just like a building, a mystery building, there's treasure in it, and then just like 20 years down the line, people go like, it's my treasure and it's in there, but it's filled with death traps, kills like, you know, nearly every person who gets in there. Am I responsible for that? Am I legally, like, persecuted for that? Like, w would anything happen there? Or... Just kind of push this on. I feel like I gotta pull this guy forward. Need it there. He doesn't come anymore. No, legit, I, I'm actually curious if I can make, like, not, not like a saw trap. We're not, we're not, like, making rooms to intentionally kill people. Uh, we're making rooms to effectively, um, about to like yell again because I accidentally triggered that room. Wow. What did I find? Puzzles, whatever. Someone built a thing, it works off light somehow. We're just like looking at it going like, hmm, do, do we really do that? Do we really have any idea what we were doing? Probably not. Uh, is it gonna keep glancing by it? No. Okay, I was thinking like. <laughs> It's gonna keep showing me downstairs. The guy's gonna be going at it. And finally, with one fell push, I have revealed the secret of the world. What is further down here? Is this just like fun? Just. Oh! I got my pee pee. Yes! Yes! I love, like, these games when they have, when they get to say PP. Pee -pee. All of them have to know this, right? Somewhere, something must have changed every single time. I 
wonder if there's something in this room. Ha <laughs> ha. The portal. Do, do you trust portals? I feel like if I saw a portal, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't. I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't. Well, I'd throw something in there first. Maybe a cat. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> They got nine lives. They can. They can handle it. <laughs> you know what's, what's. What do you do? What do you do if you 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 have like a hole and you want to determine that like it doesn't like kill you if you go in the hole? Drop a GoPro down there. Put a GoPro on a rope and just kind of look in, don't you? Ocean? <laughs> Drop a firebomb? I probably- I feel like that's a legitimate strat. You know, Scorched Earth the thing. Okay. This guy's old. He's showing his age. But which direction do you travel through? The elemental stars. Yeah, they really. Yep. Mm. Wow, it's the foundation of matter. Ah, uh, nah, nah. There's 118 elements. Nah, he's correct. He's correct. Wow, an ancient. Uh, 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 sorry, crap. Wow, an epic RPG where you have to collect crystals of the four elements. Never heard that one before. That's the one. There it is. The Mercury Star. Why is Mercury associated with water? It's not even blue. Like Jupiter, sure, it's got the it's got the gas stuff. Mars, it's rocky as heck. Venus, it's hot. But Mercury is also pretty hot. You you think you'd go for like the Neptune one. I mean that's what the name that's why they even called the planet Neptune. It's because, you know, God of the Sea, the thing is bright blue. It's still a planet. They didn't Pluto it and maybe unpluto. Are they unplutoing Pluto? Are they gonna call it a planet again? I don't know. Nah. Don't understand. How can we exist because of the stars? They have power. Well, no one's conquered the Earth so far, so how conquering the Earth have they gotten? I, yes, I, I've been seeking these stones. Just, just to research them. Angry. Be careful. But I must examine the stars. Just, just make, make the boys do it. Nah. Angry. Nah. Dude, I'm really peeving these people off. Is it a book or is it a... Mithril? That's like three tiers underneath. That's two tiers underneath Runite. Wow. Oh, there's a there's another retro arc achievement pop up on screen. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Well, I guess you're not really going that way, so why you tried going that way, I don't know. But how about this way? That's a little beyond me. Perhaps up here. Uh, do I have to go the long way? 
There you go, I did it. Oh snap, don't touch magical things. With one of these, you can conquer the world. Let's collect all four of them. I know they forbid, forbade, forbode people from coming to this place, but you think maybe one guy would be uh, not enough security for probably something that holds like the key to the universe. One guy who actually just was like, I will overlook your, like, you know, your, your disobedience for now. Like, out of everything, the guy didn't even, like, try that hard. Unbelievable. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, these were out, um, segue, uh, I don't know if the uh, the Grammy nominations were out um, this time two weeks ago, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't really know too much like absolutely new music. I've tried listening to a bunch of things, but um, but yeah, like I I find sometimes it's a little tough for some music from you know from the newer stuff to to, to really get to me. Um, or three out of four. You good? Oh no! You're stealing them! Uh oh! Oh, we got a third wheel. Ah, they're really the lackeys for the, the green person. Dude, the problem with the villains is that they're blocking the way. Nah, we're good. Why does he wear the mask? He did. It cannot be. Now nah, we didn't see him die. Still, Felix. I feel like I should have been paying more attention earlier. Oh, 
He's bailing on me. Why? Why does he do this? Maybe that's a speedrun strat. Ooh. Got him there. He's really got him there. All the stars. We don't have all the stars. Nah, we're good. Nah. Oh, was that a double negative? I got I got double negative. Oh, I did not not want want to have nothing happen to none of my friends. Uh, <laughs> it's all the way up there. Uh. So, um, so yeah, so not li listening to some newer music. I, uh, I tried listening to, uh, a while back I tried listening to Dua Lipa's new album. Um, is that how you're supposed to say it, or is it like Dua Lipa? Or is it, I don't even know, man. Um, uh, it's a bit of a weird one for me, because, like, I get, like, you know, pop as, like, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's supposed to be catchy, it's supposed to have those, uh, those memorable bits, and fortunately they have that kind of production to really make it stand out, how to make a melody, like, really kind of, you know, shine in the strongest bits. Whoa -oh. Not again. Oh, that's fine. Uh oh, it's the eye monster. Yeah, so so it's a bit of a weird album for me because it uh it, it's really good production wise. I think there's some songs that are a bit weaker than the rest. I think the second half of the album kind of falls a bit short just because I'm not the biggest fan of um what's the song uh nah, can't remember the, the single at the second half of the album um uh. But, I Break My Heart, I think that's the one, I don't know, um, it, I don't know, it doesn't like, pop out to me that much, I, it, it's got the production kind of in there, but I feel like the verse is a bit weaker for me, um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, the chorus doesn't really click with me either, um, but, yeah, some of the rest of the album, I, I find that the toughest part about it is that it's, 80s in terms of like just it being funk and not really because it's 80s like it's it doesn't really feel like nostalgic it which I think is the the sense they're going for it doesn't feel really old it feels brand new with funk which is like that's that's jammer require that's dark punk that's like that's um Charlie Puth, to some extent, if we're going to take a more modern example, like... Uh... <laughs> there's a lot of examples of more modern, you know, like... You know, popular... I, you know, iterations of funk, and, and disco to that matter. And I feel like this album is another one of those, but it's just the fact that it... really tries to market itself as being, like, you know, neo... 80s, and instead it's more just like where pop has been going, where, uh, 
you get filled with these more, um, I guess, uh, combination kinds of genres. Just, just don't die. Do not die. Well, she's gone. She's out of there. So, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> Everyone's gone. Uh, did they did double negative me? He did double negative me. Okay. Um, yeah, I, and I especially think that, like, some of the lyrical material is just kind of like, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of some of that. But, yeah, like, it, it doesn't, like, scream out to me. It kind of, like, it starts off strong, and then it's like, oh, this is actually trying, like, too, too hard. But not really. It's still, I don't know, it's, it, it feels weird how it's intentionally marketing itself one way but it's really not the other um so as a, a counterpoint i listened to um uh the weekend's new album i feel like i should just say the weekend but there's no second e it's the weekend um and that album was a bit of an interesting one because like yeah like it's it's a lot more like synth wave kind of uh you know in, in tone it's definitely driven a lot more by synthesizers rather than um string keyboard uh piano kinds of deals oh Ooh. yeah sure i guess have a star Magma flows freely in the chambers of the Oh, Ooh, dangerous power. Ah, yes, the lighthouses, yep. I want a little floating eye in my room. That'd be kind of cool. You know, we, we got these like rumors and stuff. Nah, give me the floating eye. You know, some people would say that's creepy, but nah. Oh. How convenient. So. But yeah, no, I, I thought the uh, the weekend's album was um, a lot more, uh, I guess, to the point, um, and and I especially liked a bit more of the um, uh, the more moody kind of style that the weekend's very um, very well known for. Um, but yeah, it seems a lot more genuine in what it's trying to accomplish. My issue with it is the catchiness of some of the songs and the overall sameness in quality but this is this one's a little bit interesting because it's uh on the contrary it's very back heavy a lot of the the better songs are near the end when it really kind of gets an idea for itself when i think the singing works a bit better uh with the um with the composition um and especially songs like blinding lights is um a really like great example where uh, the synth itself is kind of being a bit more of the melody, and the vocals are a bit more of a counter melody to it all. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I, I, I thought it was, it's a better album. It's a shame that there's no no Grammy nominees on that one, but Dua Lipa's got quite a bunch. Um, I do think that the song uh, "Don't Don't Stop Now," "Don't Start Now." Uh, I do think it's a pretty solid song. 
Uh, ah, good thing all the eruptions stopped when I left. Can't believe, can't believe the kids would do something like that, you know? Should we go back up? Yep. Time to be irresponsible. So, as a tangential lesson, I think um, I saw someone recommend, uh, was it Frank Ocean's uh, Blonde? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the modern R&B star that I, uh, you know, that, that I've been wanting. That kind of, you know, like, great, um, just kind of experimentation around it. Because really all R&B is, that it's... At its core is kind of smooth vocal melodies uh, and you know kind of moody um, very like on tone on tone yeah like very very emotive backings and what this album does is that it's full of they're more minimal but it's so varying in how it all works out and when there's an effect the effect you know works very strongly in the um in the the piece the singing's great i really like some of the melodies i think there's a lot of you know a lot of the album like um and it's weird despite being the longer of the three albums it's it also feels like it's the most you know content packed um now of course it's a 2016 album but what is going on yeah Recreating the whole thing? Got it. Nah. Nah. They're gone as... So... I believe... Oh! Thanks for the host, man. Uh <laughs> Hovering stone. It was a magical hovering stone. I appreciate these. You know, every a lot of magic in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, bigger bigger O on this one. This is an uwu free zone though, so you're okay with the OO. No uwus. Saw it just now. It must have been the wise one. Oh, every time. Every single time. Well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty alright. Um it's definitely a bit more of a, a gradual kind of session today. Um, I think, you know, when you start like a, a JRPG and you just get that exposition. Um, like I've had the dungeon where I've done like the puzzles, a couple of puzzles and a little bit of fighting, but you know, no boss, there's no, nothing too tense right now. Um, and this is an hour 15 into the game, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so I've just been going kind of mellow into this. Start back on schedule day. Yeah, when, when's your um your schedule? I should really have the schedule as well, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, sup, Auntie Peter? How's it going? <laughs> Dude, legit, legit. Uh, schedules are the tough thing for me, so I'm not I'm not uh, committing too hard to a schedule right now, um, especially not with Christmas break. Uh, I'm probably going to be um, going away from my computer for a few weeks, just uh, hang out with the family. Look at this wise old guy who's basically like, yeah, we can just destroy the world by doing nothing. Or we can do something and maybe destroy the world. That's, that's a life lesson for us all. 
Uh, Discord Tuesday 6 p.m. onwards, Friday 8 p.m. onwards, Sunday 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Well, there you go. For anyone watching here, uh, check out this guy's stream. What kinds of games do you do? Stopped all together during the second half of the time? Dude, legit. Legit. I'm, like... I feel like a lot of people definitely kind of copped a bit of a big one for, um, for just, like, university exams this term. Um, specifically the university that I went to, but, um, and no responsibility, we don't need it. Uh, oh, nice, summer car. Yeah, no, I'm saving up for summer house. There you go, he'll let me, let me do it. Take a bit of that world fate. <laughs> I mean, he's got car in the name, I feel like driving is, uh... Probably a given. Oh, look at the- it's the Eye Man! He's come back to give me another lecture. Oh, he's gone. He's, he's out of here. It was fun while it lasted. Oh well. Now, everyone's seen the floating eye thing. Dang it. Find the lighthouses, you'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Driving mean, control's pretty crappy and the stress meter is very vague with how to lower it too. That's a stress meter? Why would you have a stress meter for your driving? The gene. They will prove useful. That's all. Ah, no other tips. You can either force a Siggy addiction on your character, wait for the sauna to heat up, or wait ages for the stove to heat up to cook snags. It's basically finished life simulator. I'm pretty sure if you're not doing like Scandinavian flicks in the driving, you know, how, how much Finland are you really getting? And like 50% airtime. If I have any finished viewers, please tell me if that is 100% accurate. Zooey Mama, it's time to meditate. What good are those guys? Just, just tell children to get a thing. Definitely a fun one. Mm. So as it turns out, when someone sets you a, an, a, an epic quest and they go, save the world, somehow, I've got no idea. Yep. I wish I could go, but it's dangerous. Pop. That, that was a zoom doggo right there. He's gone. Keep observing from a bit of a distance, or they're good. What? Well, neither of the. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there you go. And you too, Garrett. Don't trust them. And herb. Mm. 
What is it? Another herb? Catch beads. Okay. We're all set to go. Sure. Think it get. Oh, oh. Uh. Final farewell. Goodbye, town of people. Oh, we get that mode 7, so that's a little gin thing. Oh! Hello there. Look at those little cute little things. Alright, so here's something. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna get the tutorial. So after you bring a genie into your party, you must set it to somebody. Go into the gin menu, got it. And then you give it to someone, like that. Got it, you give. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yup, mm hmm. Got it. Choosing you will take the genie, you can set it. Yup, mm hmm. Yup, you set it. You set Set it and it changes what abilities you have. Maybe your class. Okay. The class changes to the synergy or synergy you can use. It may also change. Yep. Got it. Uh -huh. Yep. And then when you're in battle, so each enemy has different powers. Since we said you can unleash us to use our powers, so let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. We're just gonna. Oh. He's going on Isaac. There you go. He's got the better stats anyway. So you go into a battle. Actual zombie. Actual zombie. So he's then doing this. You go, use this command. Just just, just use it. Just, just go for it. Uh, that's all you have to do to unleash the djinn. So that's what you do, right? You use the djinn. Um, okay. Being unleashed. Well then, stand by to be summoned. So you're 50 50 your turns. If you have stand by Jin, you can summon even greater power. So you use the Jin, and then, like, as a regular attack, and then it can be summoned for a strong attack. Is that, like, the rhythm you use? After it has been used to summon, you must spend some time to recover. After they recover, they'll be set again. So set, stand by to recovery, back to set. Ah. Well. There's one. There's one. Oh, that's a sound. That's a sound. Oh boy. I didn't hide anything up here. Nah. So here's a zombie. What weather will I do? I guess I can. He's technically already set. You just summon him. You just go bam. Oh, and then you get power. Mm. Okay. So now his Jin needs to wait. So you're like, yeah, no, nah, I'll just attack. Sure. He's dead. He's gone. He's out of here. Following the road probably seems like the best idea, you know? Does this gin? Oh, you can use the gin. So, ah, so this is the other thing. So you use the gin, and because you've used it, your stats go down. So that's, that's a toughie. Not, well, not necessarily a toughie, but that's a, that's a side effect of using the ability. Is that it's a strong attack that drags you down at the moment. But then you can use your summon, so you get a second follow-up strong attack. I like the 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 kind of rhythm of that. I guess the question is, how will it pay off? There's the ding. Um, I guess that's what you play the rest of the game for. This is just a weak enemy, like, is it not? You just hit him a few times, you don't even need to use the gin. Wow, he's got a lot more health than I remember. Here we go to town up here. 
Hi there. Nah, I'm good. But what's this? What's that jingly jangle? I want the jingle jangle. I've got spurs. That jingle jangle jingle. We can't. I don't know. How about you're a nicer but I am gonna force you to move. Oh well. We'll never know. We'll never know how to force him to move. Here we go, cave. Uh, so I think now's a good time to call it for the moment. Um, because yeah, I feel like. <laughs> The last games I played, I was basically like, yeah, I can play until I'm 100% done. But here, here I think, you know, like, finding a good point to just, call, like, like, call it. Um, it's been an hour and a half. So, I think that's good. Thank you all very much for, for watching, for tuning in. For, if you're watching at home, you're most likely at home if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you. If you're watching live, thank you. Um... I could plug, uh, you know, like all the other services, but I feel like the best thing to do is just you know, have a chill week up ahead for a few days. Whenever I stream next, we'll see. Um, but yeah, no, stay safe. Happy December. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have a, a set outro. I used to just go, like, see you guys later. Bye. But maybe I'll do that again. I'm new to it all. I'm new to this. I don't know. 